Christmas meeting. Yes. Okay. At 4.15. At 4.15, we called the meeting to order. Thank you. There you go. So, we're going to review this, I guess, with our prayer on here, but let's open with prayer. Is anyone who'd like to do it? Okay, I will. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us together this e this afternoon, late afternoon, and we thank you for um, our health, Lord, and we pray for the people who aren't here who may be under the weather today. We ask you to give them good health back, Lord. We ask you to give them your compassion and to bring their friends and neighbors and family around them, Lord, at this time so that um, they will still feel loved. And Lord, we thank you for the Senior Center and all they do to help people um, in this in Hubbardston and elsewhere. Also, all the people who come here who feel the warmth of the center. We thank you for Claudia and everything she does at this center. So Lord, please bless this meeting and help us to make good decisions for the seniors. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we have the secretary's report. Okay. Right now. That would be me. All right, this is our meeting um, from November 15th. Yep. It is Claudia. And here comes our little bit late member, but she's the Santa Claus. So we're going to let her come in, but we have started the meeting and we are on the secretary's report, ma'am. Okay. It's a good thing I brought the big car. <laughs> really? You're not taking home all that stuff, so just forget it. Uh, should I okay. go? Yeah. Should I go or do you want me to wait? No, you go. Go ahead. I just got to get that other thing. These are the minutes from November 15th, um, 2023. And present work director Claudia Provencal, Vice Chair Nancy Afonso, Secretary Mel Shaughnessy, Treasurer Ken Horvath, Board Members John Nason, Lorraine Michaels, and Sue Gray. Not present were Flo Pervier and Bill Wick. Nancy began the meeting with a prayer. Secretary's report was presented by Mel Shaughnessy for the meeting of October 18th, 2023. Motion to accept Sue, second Ken, motion passed unanimously. Treasurer's report was presented by Ken Horvath. Um, supplies account balance. Do we, uh, do we, no, I do, do we really have to go over last month's yes. cash? Oh, it's in no. the minutes. Oh, no, no. I mean, I'm going to present the brand new numbers. I mean, do we have to read each of the. Well, in case you made, in case Mel made a mistake. Oh, right how dare you? <laughs> we have to. Uh, very, very okay. possible. Um, a motion. Can, can they, you have a date in 10 minutes? <laughs> Go ahead, Mel. Well, I can say the treasurer's report was presented by Ken Horvath and a motion to accept by Sue and second Nancy and the motion passed unanimously. Yes, that's, that's perfect. perfect. Right. That's what numbers? I meant. Have you looked over the numbers that I gave? I have. Okay. They're beautiful. There you go. They look nice. There you go. Not going on. Business on. Contention already. Jack, oh, here. Contention already? Trying to speed through. Speed, trying to speed through. Oh, right. damn. I got my ice skates on and I'm raring to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deck update. Claudia reported the cost for the deck may be able to be reduced by modifying the railing. Claudia stated at this time we need $15,000. Claudia gave a summary of upcoming events 11 2023 Town Volunteer Appreciation. 11, 25, 23, and 26, 23, nativity setup. 12, 2, 23, Christmas fair. 12, 5, 23, Christmas ornament snowman making. 12, 15, 23, Christmas morning at the senior center. And a Christmas trip is still in pro process. John made a motion to serve Hunter's stew and home baked bread at the Christmas fair. Second, Sue. Mel, Nancy, Sue, and Ken and Lorraine volunteered to break the bread. Sorry. Sue asked for a change in the day and time of our board meetings. Ken made a motion to have our board meetings on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Seconded by John, and the motion passed unanimously. Motion to adjourn Ken, second John, meeting adjourned at 7.35 p.m. Next meeting will be Tuesday, 12-19-23 at 4 p.m. Respectfully submitted. Any questions? Okay, any motions? I make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. Any objections? Go for it. Okay. Good job, Mel. Moving on. 
Treasury. Treasury. Treasury report. Here we go. Okay. This is as of 12 13 23, which was last Wednesday. Uh, our supplies account is $1,078.02. Our services account is $1,007.68. The gift account, which includes the $3,000, because I still haven't heard they gave us a new account number. Yep, I gave it to Ken. You didn't see it? No, I did not. So I'll move it for the next time. But that total, including that, is $52,882.97. Woohoo! Eight, eight, two, yep. nine, seven. The formula grant, $525.97. The GFA grant, $267.90. And our senior building account is $2,651.84. And you have you balanced with the with uh, Kelly yet? I haven't given you any. No, you haven't. Given I you. haven't got any. Yeah. Well, you now you might as well you might as well wait. Well, if, if you can get November well, thirtieth. Like right, yeah. I'd if like you can get November thirtieth when I come next Wednesday. Yeah, where we are before yeah, I leave for Florida. Yeah. That would be good. I want us to balance. Yep. No, than absolutely. Take too long. Okay. You're right, and then if we have any issues, we can straighten them out for the December 31st balance, yes. rather than straighten them out in January. Right. Nope, that's that would be great. I'll be here Wednesday. Motion to accept Treasurer's report. I accept. Second. Second. Any discussion? No more questions. Second. Business outreach programs. Business or outreach programs. Anyone got anything? Um, well, I've been, I think we've all been trying to update the emergency contacts um, as we see people. Um, and I've been in touch with um, someone that's not really familiar to the senior center at this point, but. Um, clergy member had contacted me and uh, then I did speak with her daughter and I wasn't able to reach her but I sent kind of like a note with our um, newsletter letting her know some of the things that we do and that you know I'm available generally speaking all day Mondays at the center and I haven't heard so this was like a week or so ago? Yeah, it was a week ago yesterday. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Good. And, and just regular people, you know, maybe making a phone call here and there because of the time of year. So, sure, yeah, especially. Yeah. That kind of thing. Good. Good, I think we have a number of people involved with things who have just maybe lost a spouse or something, right? Keeping them. Them to feel wanted and John Nason is better, he's home, so that's good. Good, yep. Yeah, I missed him today, missed him at the singing group, too. Um, okay, have there anything else? Any other programs? Or we have uh, the fire department came down, which I was very excited about that oh. because I want, I want the fire department and everybody to get together so. Taylor came down and she asked me, we booked two appointments, uh, two uh, programs. One, they're each an hour long, so we need to have the participation of the board. Hopefully you would come because I hate it, nobody's there. One is on um, oh, fire detectors. Oh, good. So we want to talk about that. And, another, and then the week later, or two weeks later, it's on uh, escape boots from fire. But she has some great plans. She's been taking some classes. She has some great plans. She'd like to see if she can get some grants to be able to hand out. There's this, I don't exactly know what it is. It's like a container that you put your key in and the only people that have a key to that is the fire department. So that if you fall in your house, if you're all alone, somebody who's all alone um, and they're by themselves, they fall, they can't get to the door to open the door, 
Bill Farnicky, that happened to Bill Farnicky, and they had to break his windows. But the fire department will only have the key to get in there, so they'll, I said, that's a great idea. They're trying to get a grant so they can pass it out to seniors, people who need them, who live alone, mm -hmm. which is, that's great. So she has a lot of good ideas and good plans and programs that she's taken that she would like to bring to the senior center. So I would like to continue that and, and create a rapport with them and, and have them do that. So. We're working on that. That will be good. Uh, that's very good. That will be that very, very good. Idea. So yeah. you're talking about containers that they would store at the fire department? No, no, a key. So it would be like your house key. They would store the keys. No, it, your house key would be in this little container, whatever right. it is. But where would you put it? And you would hide it somewhere, or you'd put it somewhere, hide it, whatever. And the fire department would be the only one that knows where it is. They'll so tell you. The they will tell you more about it when and if she can get the grant to okay. purchase these. Gotcha. They're expensive. So mm -hmm. if she could purchase these, she wants to come and give a, a talk on it and where you would put that oh, so the cool. fire department would know and then they would have a key. They could that's come in. smart, because my sister yeah. um, had to call, and she's been many times up in New Hampshire ambulances, and they've had to break down the door and stuff. She just leaves yeah. it unlocked all the time. She's in the basement apartment. Oh. She just leaves it unlocked all the time now because well, they do so many I guess times. They must be available now but she's trying to get the grant so she can pass them out mm -hmm. yeah, to the seniors I and stuff she'll tell us more about that but she's got a lot of good ideas so i'm hoping that's going to work so that's what are the dates of these two uh, uh the i think it's the ninth no, okay go ahead i think it's the ninth and then two weeks later of january On a tuesday january. January. Those are january. Tuesdays. tuesday mornings yeah. from 10 to 11 in an hour a few years back, or more than a few years back, the fire department came and they talked about the smoke detectors and your fire extinguishers. They would go into your house and they would they would yes, chart they out the where they should go. They got a grant so. and they had me sign sign it so that they could get the grant the money. Yeah. And they were supposed to go into your house and maybe replace whatever you might need to have replaced or whatever. And the carbon I don't think monoxide that's what this is. and the carbon monoxide detectors as yeah. well. Yep. And every time you change the clocks, like spring and fall, you should test your uh, detectors and make sure they're still right. working. They're good for like 10 years, and then you should just change them. So they the came, I remember them coming to Jane Turcott when she lived next door. And um, so did they just do it on a regular basis? I mean, without the grant and all that stuff, don't they just, the fire department will come in? They might come and check them. them. Yeah, the they might, but that's yeah. something we have to ask them. Okay. You know, when she comes down, we can ask her all yeah. these questions. Because yeah. put that in the newsletter too. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I know there's winter fire because they worry a little bit more in the winter about home fires and stuff. Well, people are using wood stoves right. and fireplaces and, the and burning candles. Too. You don't have yeah. your windows open. Yeah. Candles. Yeah. Candles. Yeah. Candles. 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 Candles are the number yeah. one. There was a carbon monoxide death and a severe injury at some college in the dorm. Yeah. Ooh, really? There had been complaints of the carbon monoxide issue, and they went, and, and all of a sudden, the next day, wow. somebody wow. didn't show up. They went, and they found one dead, and the other one passed out. Oh, wow. College students at That's some, amazing. I forget what, it wasn't in Massachusetts, it was somewhere else, but, I mean, if it, that can happen in a college setting where they're supposed to be on top of it, you know? Yeah. Wow. What yeah, about these, uh, instead of fire extinguishers in the kitchen, they have these blankets now, I see advertised. Yeah, we just like throw we it over the stove. Yeah, there's a stove fire. Mm. Really? Oh, so we need to know, because I have two fire extinguishers in the kitchen, and um, like disposal of them, and how long are they good? I mean, how oh, they have a really dial. You see, you got to look at the little dial. Yeah. These are, they're not good forever. These no, they are good don't. questions. I gotta just see if I can. And where do we dispose of them? So these are all good, good questions, questions for her. We should answer, you know, have answer them all. And or sometimes them. they they come with a tag, and they well, say. How many of us have a look at them? Well, you know, and the tag says the expiration date. Oh really? You should look at those in your detectors when you change well, the clocks. Well, it's it's like <laughs> no, but it's like the um, true. propane tanks. Good. They have a year on them. Time to to uh, printed, on the tank. On what? Uh, on, a, on a propane tank for your gas grill. Mm -hmm. Each tank that you buy yeah, has a date, right a year, yeah. imprinted, uh, you know, 
built into the tank, and I think it's 12 years from the date of manufacture. Yeah. And after that, they can't, nobody can fill it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So they can re. re this is somebody, all good for another company. Yeah, can another re company re will take them and then recertify yeah. them. But. Yeah. Well, your fire extinguishers too. They have to be charged after a certain time or something. I think you can bring them to the fire station, and they they. Really? Okay. Something. These are all questions for. Her, yes. For her. Yes. Yeah. For her to. I was here when they came years ago. Talked about some of that stuff. Okay. So it's great to do it again. Yes, it's been a long time. It's a good time to do those things. So what, date, what's the date? I think she said the 9th of January. And the 23rd, or she says two weeks later on yeah. the same day. The 9th oh, okay. of January? 9th and the 23rd. So if the first one's on fire detectors, the second one's on escape routes. And you know what I think about? I mean, we just helped a woman in, um, we, we just took a woman home from our party we just had for the senior singers, and she's in a wheelchair. And I think about that. I think about the people in homes with, you know, people with home, with wheelchairs, especially, and um, you know, they thought about escape routes and all that stuff. It's hard. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Hard. What time did she say? The, uh, January. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Oh, okay. yeah. What's the one on the twenty third for? Escape, escape routes. Escape, escape, escape routes. routes. Yeah. Yeah. Escape routes. And five. that key, that key thing. Oh, was that on that same day? No, we, we were just having a general discussion. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's another thing that she was talking about. So yeah. maybe she'll bring that up on one of those? Yeah. I can't find my appointment book. You can't find your. It's okay. It was, I saw it's it on the Christmas desk. Gear. Did you see it? Yeah. It was there, but I can't, I don't see it now. I saw it. Just now? Late this afternoon. Oh. You want to go look? <laughs> I just have the report for the Christmas tree. Okay. That's what I have, and I'm like, oh, great. So review of the Christmas tree, that's what you're going to talk about. Well, do we have any more upcoming programs or ideas for people? I have for us? nothing. Um, I did have something in mind. They were talking about doing soup. They were thinking of maybe doing the yeah, soup we were again. Talking about soup again. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you want to do that, but. Like when that. did they want to start that? Well, I don't know. Oh. They just said that they thought maybe the soup. February Probably in good, January or January, February. February is a good time. Didn't yeah. You? And then, you know what? I still have some of the gift certificates that people collected um, when we were going to do the gift certificate tree, but we didn't get enough gift certificates oh. to have that. So Valentine's Day is coming up. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have, if we could sell or donate tickets the whole month of January until, until uh, Valentine's Day and then draw the draw the name and that person would win all the gift cards on the tree. I mean, even if we had 10, maybe. Yeah. You know, um, gift Good cards. Idea. I don't know if you, you want to think we could, but we got to get more gift cards. We got to get more. Do you want to, do you want to do one tree for somebody to win all of them or do you want to do? It depends on how many, it get depends different, on, you know what I mean, like different winners for each one. Depends on how many. Walter did it and I'm telling you, they collected a ton of gift cards. And they made some pretty good money on that. We only have a few. I think we have like four. I mean, you got to have a substantial amount so people will pay ten dollars for twenty-five chances, you know, or five dollars for ten chances, or whatever. So you got to have a substantial yeah. amount. It's got to look good. So um, it depends on. How, we can't really just discuss that until we find out how many, how many tickets, how many uh, gift cards we have. Yeah. So if we did this, but I don't know, that would Valentine's be all of us. Day, then we'd have to trying to get some cards. But how many? We can't go to the same places. You need to let us know the places that already donated. Well, they donated in town. Pizza yeah. Palace. I don't think Mr. Mike's did. Um, Giacomo's. Giacomo's. I think. Uh, no, I. I don't think I have one for that. No. But I have one too for Stars and Stripes. I, I'll get them. You want to see what I got? Let's go see sure. what I got. We should probably make a list, yeah. I was delusional. Okay. Well, I, thought I, saw, so. I saw it earlier today, though, I thought. Yeah, I had it. Now I, I thought Can we think of some other Do we want to talk about the soup thing, like when we want to start that, what day of the week we want to have it and stuff like that? We did they have it before, did we they have it? It was on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays? Right. Soup. Uh, Tuesday. And people came in and ate, ate it here, or did you do a drive-thru? Yeah, no, 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 no. 
I just brought in two people. My work schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And we brought in each a crock pot full of soup. And when it was gone, it was gone. And Tuesdays are good because singing day, so some people will come early if you want to do it. So I guess if you're going to do it, probably mid January to mid February, maybe? How many times we did it? We did it February and March. You did it every week or every other week? Every other week. Every other week. Yeah, we did every other week. And I it might have been on Wednesdays because Valentine Valentine's Day last year. Wasn't that on a Wednesday? And in twenty twenty three. When was Valentine's Day? I don't it think was we Tuesday. Did. It was, it was a Tuesday. Tuesday. I was gonna say it wasn't a Wednesday because I know I was here for some of the soup days. And it's a and it's a Wednesday this year. It's a Wednesday this year. But mm -hmm. Valentine's Day? Yeah. Yipper. Um because I was. What date? What day? Well, what day? We're just talking about what day to do it. If we do the what day of the week? Valentine's Last day. year was Tuesday. Some people seem maybe they want to do Wednesday. This well, time. Tuesday you've got the knitting club. Yes. Who would stay possibly for it? No. No, they did. Last year yeah. they they did well, it. It was so. <laughs> it was always it was Richard, Richard, Richard. <laughs> all the Joe all the riches, yeah. Dan Baxter, yeah, yeah. Um, Joe, but they're here. They're Joe. here doing. They're here anyway, any day. Um, they're my Monday morning group anyway. Yeah. My bowlers. They're yeah. every. They're they're here. So what day is a slow day? Tuesday mornings are a little bit slow, maybe. Well, no. Well, Mondays have picked up. Got I got think Mel said. Yeah. When well, Tuesdays, what's going group? on Tuesdays? Tuesdays is singing in the afternoon. Singing in the afternoon, and then we have the, the, the knitting group coffee. from uh, 11 to 12 or something. 10 to 12. 10 to 12. They might like it. And they might not. They might stay. They may, they may, they're always busy here, do their thing and shit yeah. out, you know. Yeah. So, but and you, last year but you'll really attract can do it. different people. But Rich, I, Richard, Richard, and Richard will come. And Barbara LeBlanc. If you did Wednesdays, Lorraine's good at this stuff and would like to probably be part of that. And you've also got um, pitch. If you let the pitch people know, they come in early. To but now you got to figure out: um, do we wanna? Do we wanna uh, just do it for like, the, or you wanna have it for like luncheon? So like around twelve. This this was like two people were assigned or agreed yeah. to do yeah. it on a certain Tuesday. Yeah. And we each brought one crock pot of soup and when it was gone, it was gone. It okay. could be gone by like 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh. <laughs> so you can't really yeah. advertise. So it kind of yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just, okay. It wasn't like, um, yeah. I wasn't part of it, so you guys need to decide. I was, wasn't part of it, I was, wasn't here. Was it really? Is it something right, you want away. to do, or well, is there something, there's something else I have? You did it about. a couple times. I did, I it, did Patty, it every week, because Patty, Patty, Patty and I did Tuesdays Did you yeah. together. like it, or was it a pain, or did, I mean, people seem to really love what it. About people money, liked it. What about yeah. the money? Um, people were eating soup at eight, 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 10 after 8 in the morning. There was a I mean, donation. it was, <laughs> they liked yeah. it. There was a donation. I mean, how do you feel about that? Do you want to do donate again, or what? Because we don't have a ton of money in that our stuff yet right just got a bill from the printer so we're gonna pay that yeah well i said i'll be there next wednesday yeah so okay i'm just saying we're gonna have to keep yeah. what ken has for uh, i mean I, I will say we've been very good in keeping the Giant. spending down yeah we've done, we've done a marvelous job yeah. yeah it's been good because the coffee people have been donating so that will take care of all the cream and mm -hmm. you know stuff like that so and well i you know snack. what i think i i think um we should probably have a little subcommittee and um you know because patty was always good at at making a soup i would make a soup lorraine from time to time would be involved i said and if some of the people who if came it, if it's a wednesday if it's a wednesday yeah. i'll make soup at least once maybe twice but it, i can't i'm working on tuesdays i can't just do you know you sure it was on Tuesdays? Yes. It seems to me it was on Wednesday. I know it wasn't Wednesday because because you know because Shirley used to come. Yes, and you Shirley know who used to Betty. come is Joe. Uh, 
Joe from Rutland. Joe from Rutland. She brings soup too. And I thought, wasn't that Monday? That when was you worked? Tuesday because Shirley comes. Wasn't from, it when you oh, worked? Oh, Shirley comes to pick up too. I think it was Wednesday. I think it was Wednesdays last year. Shall we this come on Wednesdays? Yes. You know what? We should look on Wednesday? the calendar. No. Yeah. She comes on Tuesdays. Golden Wednesdays. Age is well, Wednesdays. Okay. Hey, it's on Monday. Okay. All the better for well, her. Well, because singing anyway. is, so she might have yeah. come early because singing is. Right. Was. So she might have come early down. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't. We, we just we can look on the calendar. If you want it, you decide if you want to do it and pick a day that works for you guys. Yeah. It doesn't have to be what works for each person. Right. No, 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 no. I, so I, what are we going to talk about the gift cut Well, thing? in a minute. So, we, we, so we're finishing the, the soup thing because you got to know if you're going to do it in January. So who would be willing to make a soup once or twice a month? Are we going to do it twice a month? It would be twice a month, yeah. Twice a month, so every other yeah. week. And I really, do people really care that it has to be on a Tuesday? We can do it on a Wednesday. You can. It, you can actually do it whenever you want. But you gotta be consistent. You have to be the, the thing is you gotta be consistent. I think you gotta have it on the yeah. same day because people will think, Oh, see, I'm gonna come. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. You know. So, um, may I recommend that we have a conversation with those that made soups last year and decide on a day. And I'll let you write me one. Is that, is that yeah, okay? I, I will. Sure. And I, I kind of also think as far as if you people can expect it. Maybe doing it one month every single week instead of every other week. Do they do they really keep that straight? Every single week. The, every single week is a lot. Too yes. much. That's it too really much. is. It's it's okay. a lot. To do one day every single week for for every month. other week. Every other week. Okay. And they did and they it. Keep and they, they did, did it for two months. They did it for a couple of months. That's yeah. why they stretch it out over two months. That's February, why and March, February, February, and March, and March. And April, but they it's cold. Them. Okay. As opposed to just jamming it all in. Yeah. Do you know, I'm a volunteer. My idea of soup was usually out of the can. Well, there. I made it once recently. <laughs> and I think, if I wasn't wrong, I'm not sure what everybody did, but I think the people who made the soup just made the soup and brought it. I don't think we put in slips and all that. No. 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 So every other week is probably better. Yeah. However. As we all are very much aware, when you go to the grocery store, it is so much more expensive. Well, right. That they make slips possibly submitted this okay. time. And you know, I have also not one more suggestion that yeah. to get people like me involved. I would do um, a lunch if I could bring like sloppy joes or. I mean, I don't do soups. Oh yeah, but no. I could bring something different. I do beef stew. Yeah, kind of beef stew That's is a soup. soup. That they love the stews. Okay. Oh yeah. So. I, I do a, a hamburger or Italian oh, soup. That's a soup. Okay. Yes. I did a hamburger can, soup, a chicken soup. I can do some potato soup. Or so if you want to include me, I would do one of those things. Oh great. On a Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, so you're going to do a little subcommittee. You're going to make a yeah. decision and yeah. advertise it in the, yeah. in the newsletter. Yeah. And um, do you have a starting start, time, or is no, it like start, it, February, or right? like at nine o'clock in the morning they put the soup on here and make sure it's hot? And whoever wants it from I think it's whenever the people show up with a soup. Yeah. <laughs> well, we try group, to do but it. you have group. We yeah. try to like do it a little cl more mid. Okay, I'm trying morning, to do it like eleven, late eleven thirty. But you've told me sometimes it's gone by 11. Yeah. It could be, depends on. Okay. Who's here? So if you start it in February and you have it on a Wednesday, it would be the 7th and the 21st. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would be the 7th and 21st in, in March, too. Though there's probably. Um, the 7th and. Yes, it would yeah, be the 7th and the 21st. That'd be cool. It would be the 7th and the 21st again. Yeah, I'm both. I'm both yeah. months, 7th yeah. and 21. How cool is that? Is that. Go ahead. What are you looking at? Am I um, right? No, no, no. Because Six you know why? Twentieth. My cousin Leo's going to be sixteen. He was born in nineteen fifty-six. Yeah. He's a leap year baby. Is this leap year? <laughs> is this it's leap, leap year. He's Jesus. he's going to be. Is this leap year? Oh yeah. 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 Right. So, oh, yeah. so, so it's February seventh, twenty-one, and it's the sixth and the twentieth. Yeah. Six and the 20th. Yep. So we're talking February now? Yeah. I guess we're making some decisions. Then just try to no, March 6th and March 20th. March 6th and March 20th. Okay, so we February just make 7th. decisions. So. 
find people who can make soups on those days. So and can we go the Wednesday days are February 7th and 21st. 7th and 21st. And March will be the 6th. The 20th because the 27th, the 28th. Yeah. So you just bring like one crock pot. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever you want to We make. had like two people would do it. And we'd but serve it we would have got that frozen bread in there if I you mean, wanna somebody wants to bake it like no. the day before to go. Oh you still have soup. some left? There's some in there, yeah. Yeah. And oh. um there's Cindy a, a would bring beef. something in. Which there were a lot of times Why and not we'd end up with bake it the day five. before and bring it yeah, in. Yeah, we did have more than two crop Oh bars. yeah. Two it's, assigned and yeah. more came in. And more more people brought okay. it. And it was it was good and people enjoyed it. And it was community and yeah, sounds good. Had a good time. It was nice. Yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going. Um, I think Miss Director had some things to go over. Right. Yes, so yes, this yes. was the, this was the giving tree. Now we have a gift certificate from the Red Apple Farm. Family outing certificate. Pick your own hat bushel. Four hayride tickets and two cups of animal feed. So is that That's one certificate red or two? That's one. Well, yep, it's one. Yep, that's one. And then we have one from the church was at ninety nine for twenty five dollars. And stars. Wait, wait a minute, the church? What? The Evangel Church at the corner. Yeah. They gave they went and got us a gift certificate for twenty five dollars. Oh, for ninety nine. For the ninety nine. That's the one from the church. We have to send them fake animals. And stars and stripes gave one twenty five dollar one and one fifteen dollar one. That's all we have for gift certificates. So we either somehow we've got to get them. And I thought February and Valentine's Day. What is Valentine's Day? Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought on Valentine's Day we could if we sold the tickets ahead of time. Like I could, you know, not just sell them in here, but take them with us. You know, like I catch Raj and Andre and buy some tickets. How about if you did something like one, one for Williams and one for from? Um, I got the, the letter mail. there. Yeah, we got the letter. I mean, and I it's mean, just that somebody's gonna go. And you do. And you put the tree up and you put the stuff on them and people will see it. So anyways, I have four. But people need probably 25 or 30 gifts. You think people don't need those? Huh? People donated those, right? They donated. Well, that's what you're asking the, the restaurants. Yeah. To donate one. And I got the, the letter, so when I wrote up. And is that specifically for like the Christmas fair? No? It's for, um, Make sure it's all right because we might have to change the date. We must have a copy of it, right, Sue? Yeah, someplace. So I'm thinking, um, end of the year, Mr. Accountant. Yeah. End of the year, isn't that, that the time that people will oftentimes donate things as write offs? <coughs> it, it's possible, except, um, when they changed the tax law in 2017. And increased the standard deduction, doubled it. Yeah. Very few people now oh, itemize. No. <laughs> okay, qualified itemize. Yeah. And that was always a big thing. Oh, you know, if I give an extra two hundred bucks. But restaurants the same thing? No, restaurants have a whole different See that's what I'm talking about. For them to, to do don't they have write offs? Sure. And the is the end well, of the but year? their year end could be anything. It doesn't have to be December. Yeah, companies can do it. You know, could, actually, yeah. a lot of them. Okay. A lot of them is are uh, a lot of business stuff are January, because that's a really low time, dead of winter. So it wouldn't be. Bad. I was wondering, do we rush out the end of December to ask them? Or no, or I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think that December thirty first. Okay. Uh, actually, right now, I think restaurants and stuff. Are gearing up for the holiday season. You know, a lot of people do go out for yeah. Christmas, they go out for right. New Year's. Right. Man, the restaurants are, are up to their eyeballs. Right. So and maybe they, this isn't well. really a good time. So in January, maybe after they January, might be really good because they, they've, they've had so many people come in and they're making so maybe, much money. Maybe they'll feel good in January. Okay, so 
Well, I was thinking of maybe doing it. Yeah. We cancel a lot of these out. Don't. Could, 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 you put, could you put gift cards on the tree as well as gift certificates? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, same thing. Okay. Gift card, same thing. You can read it now. Why don't you read it? Oh, read it aloud. Okay, yeah. so this was dated September 11th of this year to our local sponsors. There is an excitement building here at the Senior Center. Our small one-room Senior Center is in the process of procuring the monies to build a three-season patio slash deck attached to the Slade building. You may or not may not be aware of the reputation we have earned. It is said that one room Hubbardston Senior Center, that the one room <laughs> Hubbardston Senior Center is one of the friendliest and most welcoming senior centers in our area. We would love to add this space as it would allow us to hold seminars, meetings, social gatherings, etc. We just held an end of the summer barbecue that hosted 75 people. Unfortunately, we had to turn away some as we could as we just could not accommodate more people. The outdoor space would have allowed that. With this quest in mind, we are planning to have a Santa surprise tree, which would have yeah, gift certificates from the various businesses in our area and have people take chances on winning them. This could be a win-win for both of us. It would bring attention to your business and benefit the senior center. All proceeds will be put towards the future patio dash deck at the senior center. Thank you in advance for supporting the seniors in our community. Sincerely, Susan Brady. Because she can't sign for it's in the blank. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Literally. She, she can't. Can. She can't do that. So, and we put a little gift certificate on here, see? Or a gift card. Or yeah, because we had to use a logo. We'd have to fix it. You know, we'd have to. It's we got it on there, yeah. We'd yeah. have to change a few things yeah. on the date and different, and not Santa, but. We could use Valentine's Day, so so we have four here. If we if we choose not to do this, because it's a lot of work to go out and try to get some stuff, and a lot of people don't want. We pass these all out to everybody, and this is what we came back with. I mean, I'll go and buy a few myself, but um, if we think it's not, we got to figure out what we want to do with the, with these gift certificates. We got to pass. We got to get them out there. However, we're going to distribute them. I don't know. Well, so, I, I'm thinking that we want to the Ale House, Williams, the Old Mill. Mm -hmm. You want places that are in the area that people want to go out to eat. You know, and maybe it shouldn't be a tree. Do, do you think you should do it separately? On a heart. I wish I kept that hot wreath. Or we could maybe right something for Valentine's Day. Maybe? Yeah. Somehow, fix somehow. How would you do it? I, I mean, oh, we could come up with something. I'm, I'm, I'm you, thinking of like what Sue was just saying. Maybe if we didn't do a tree, if you just said if we, if we go and get whatever we can for for these, and then we just said, would you like to take a chance? Um, we have gift certificates and um, gift cards, whatever, and not charge a ton for them, you know, not donation of whatever, and um, then have some kind of a dinner, like a, or a yeah. brunch, a Valentine's Day thing, yes. Valentine's Day mm -hmm. thing during the day, yeah. and we ask for donations for whatever for the food, you know, of, um, whatever you decide would be good for donation. <coughs> mm -hmm. and, and you just give them out, I mean, you so you take donations for them, or chances to win these gift cards, yeah. and each one you pick a different number. And each person gets so each one, person gets, gets one. one of them. Yeah. Do you think we'd not make as much money that way as? Not make as I think we would not make as much money that way, and we would really? be spending more money because we got to buy. The no, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. It's great, but you, we're not going to do that well because we're going to have to buy the food, or people are going to have to donate. You have to. Get, Plan what your menu is going to be for the Valentine dinner, yes. and you're going to buy the food, and you're going to get your napkins and your paper. It's got to be all Valentine. It's got to be done nicely, you know. We did a and brunch. Yeah. Oh, brunch. You think a little brunch? I was thinking brunch. Breakfast, we lunch. We had a breakfast the other day. It was very nice. Breakfast, lunch. Um, I think like I've been to things where um, the Stars and Stripes has um, catered. Yes. And it's been very nice. She does a great job. 
that was one of my thoughts, see how much it would cost to, you know, I don't know, it's one of my thoughts that, and I think people, Valentine's Day, even though it's hard for some seniors, they would come, they would come to something to, you know. Would you do it like a Sunday afternoon, um, so that people are more around, people who are working could come with their, you know, either maybe with their parent or either come by themselves because you go, you certainly want to invite them too because if you want to do this um, would you ask for a donation to come to the dinner or would you just yes. say a donation of whatever maybe it would co cover the cost of the food right or the, the caterer if you did it if you did a donation of a certain amount and you find out first how much it would cost to be catered and you let people know it's catered by somebody I think people would I don't know, that's just my thought. Okay. Okay, to come to something like that. We talked to Asta lately about the friends and the Jones family. Yep, they donated a thousand dollars for their dinner and we're gonna bring that. The Joneses? Well, I don't like to I don't that's the friends. Yeah. Okay. I hate to jump in their bucket. That's their contact. That's their person. No, no, no. They were she looking likes for something. I know. I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Are they looking for something more to do besides what they do for Thanksgiving? I just don't know if, it, if that's our place to, because they usually do visits with the friends. Not unless they come to us. If they came to us and said, and she did come to me, but she let me know that that, that money that she gave me was for the friends. Oh. You know, this, because I saw them, they came here and, and they, she wanted to contact the friends and she gave me the, the check for the friends to give to them. And then she came back and gave them a little bit more money, but she wanted it specifically to the friends. So that's why I don't know if that's a proper, and you don't want the friends to get mad at you. No. Cause that's their no. I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, the Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, the Thanksgiving dinner. That they put on the, the, table. the Joneses. Yeah. Who are the Joneses? The Joneses are the people from Westminster who had a son who died in the military. Yeah, they want to give back to the community. That's what the son wanted them to do with the money that they got from his death. So, um, and they've been doing it. They've been doing it now for two, three years, maybe yeah. three years. I oh, thought it was nice. 15. What? It's 15. For here? Oh, no. Right. No. Not three here. years. Three years. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long he's been gone. He's been gone. And I don't know how long he's been doing it, but here, it's been about three yeah, years. Yeah, they might do different things. Yeah, might be somewhere else, but here, three years. <coughs> so, okay. okay. well, these are all ideas. Uh, all February, right. if we're doing anything in February, it really needs to be. We need to get it out now. Decided now. Yes, <laughs> but yes. if we're not, we want to wait for another day. I mean, that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea giving the gift certificates out by then and doing a dinner, but you have to find out how much and who you're going to have. Now, they had, um, who did the food for them? They were from Ocamp. Cater from Ocamp, yeah. Yep. Cater from Ocamp did it. They brought the food in here and they served it and then brought it out, which is a good idea because now your kitchen's not all messy. And right. Everything's all right here. Cover the table. Check the lock rack. Make sure it's okay. They can do that. But if they it, did if it, you on do a week. it a week. If you do it during the week, you're going to run into trouble. You're going to run into trouble if you yeah. do it during the week. Oh, right. yeah. The weekend yeah. probably is better. Yep. When, or Friday. Well, on the weekend is still better, some people I think. think. Yeah. Okay. Because then you get more more people. You can do it this Sunday come. if you want it for Thanksgiving. You do it this Sunday before. I mean, uh, for Valentine's Day, you do it this Sunday the before Valentine's Day. The 11th, yeah. yeah. That's when you do it. Yeah. When's the Super Bowl? Oh, I don't know. When Probably is the Super Bowl? The 11th. Is basketball? I thought the Super Bowl. Oh, I'll look it up. It the Super Bowl is probably the Super Bowl. It's yeah. February, but <clears throat> it's usually... Around then. Super Bowl 58 will be played on the 11th of February. Oh, okay. yes. Yes. Six, not six, <coughs> Stadium in Paradise. Well, it depends. But they have all day. Yeah, no, but it depends. The Super Bowl days, doesn't uh, kick off till 6.30. Yes, but, right. That's yeah. so what I'm just saying. It says 6.30. So if you had this, if you, if you wanted to make a brunch out of it even, and have it at 11, 11 to 1, Plenty of time. The men, yeah. the men would yeah, be happy. Right. That you'd have something for the ladies, and you'd have something for the yeah. men. Yeah. I mean, you could even have it at, at twelve or one. Yeah, twelve. Still yeah. be home. Still be home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You miss all that pregame chit chat. Oh, go when tell is please. that on? All day uh, for weeks ahead of time. I know. It's, oh, it's, it's well, awful. if it's somebody that you it's don't want to do it that day, you could do it on the tenth, a Saturday. Mm. People were out and about on Saturday. So, Sunday. Sunday before Valentine's would make it. You feel very special. I think you knew. So if you had something like this, would it be um, advertised for families, or what's going to be advertised for? How would you? How would you do the donation? Would you do? And you would say suggested donation is not cheap. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I think you. What is what is the purpose? Is it to? Well, there's two pieces of this. Suggested donation for what food? Or if if you have this tree, let's call it a tree for argument's sake. Okay. If if you could get five hundred dollars of value on that tree, you could charge a nice ten dollars for. Ten dollars for twenty five tickets. That's what we did for the yeah fair yeah. and man I. I give you twenty bucks in a heartbeat, because okay. it's all for the it's all for the one. It's a, so you why would you give them? To, why would you give twenty five tickets? Why wouldn't you just do one ticket for ten bucks? And no, you because get people five hundred dollars worth of things that you can. People will pay ten dollars for twenty five tickets before they will pay ten dollars for one ticket. I yep. think. Yep. I oh, think yeah. the amount. Oh, yeah. oh, I got twenty-five chances to win, yeah. and my my tickets are already made up for twenty-five on that mm-hmm. card. They're already made up. So to think that, well, look, I'm looking around and there's sixty people here that showed up. And there's sixty tickets. I got one chance out of sixty. But in but Chloe's right. In your brain is, I bought fifty dollars. I bought twenty dollars. I bought thirty dollars worth. Of I got seventy-five tickets in here. Thirty. I'll spend thirty bucks to try and get five hundred. As a but, because but you wouldn't let them buy three tickets, three ten-dollar tickets. One you want one ticket a person. It's a psychological. Claudia is absolutely right. It's a psychological thing. I would drop thirty bucks for seventy-five tickets to win five hundred dollars. Why not? It's yeah, a donate. It's a, it, it, no, but you know what? But when you think it, it most people are given twenty five dollars. That's only Boy. twenty. Oh no, I understand. I understand what you But if they don't have sixty-five, we got a hundred dollars right here, already. Right, and a hundred tickets right here. On, almost on four. Oh, yeah, on four okay. tickets. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So I so. like the idea of it's a psychological thing, and Claudia is absolutely right. That's the way to go. Okay, so. That's the that's one half of it, and then the other half is the food. If you're gonna have a social gathering and feed them, you know that's the other half of it, and then you're gonna. Then I think you could make that donation, recommended donation, relatively inexpensive. Not, I don't think. So you could have the dinner and charge a donation for the dinner. Right. And then when they get there, anybody wanna? We're gonna draw this. Right. Today, like does anybody want to add their name to this and draw? Well, uh, they have someone sitting and selling the tickets like right, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the dinner, so people can buy yes. to get to. But you have to have a display of all these things right. on the tree, yeah, so yeah, people yeah. can see. Right. What do they have? Yeah. yeah. But I won't be here, so you guys have to. Have no, to you'll be in your it. bathing suit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, put me on Zoom, and I'll be like, Nancy, no, 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 don't do that, that, that way. No, no, so that's not right. No, no, no. no. Okay, now put somebody over there. Oh no, stop you talking. You're here to sell tickets. Don't talk. All right, so I would be part of this if we had catered. I'm not. I mean, I don't want to ask the people who do a wonderful job, Sue and Lorraine, are doing all these things. So we should go to Stars and Stripes and Stars and Stripes and ask them for a brunch, a brunch catering. I would. They're, they're local. She's 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 always. She's the best. Doing she stuff. She's very friendly. Love Wanda. She's very love very Wanda. friendly. I love Wanda. And I think Great people to veterans and children. Yeah. Yeah. They're I don't know nice. her. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I you should stop in and have a coffee one day with her. She does. She does. And she's very awesome. 
The yeah. food is really, yeah. breakfast food, food is good. great there. And I've been to just even a, a funeral thing this summer. It was my neighbor. And and even though the head of Stars and Stripes was, was um, doing one of her son's weddings the next day, she provided, you know, um, catering for this funeral thing at this person's house on High Street. And um, it was great. I was like, really? She accepted doing this when tomorrow she's doing her, and she's also catering her son's wedding. You know, <laughs> I, mean? I never think about, yeah. we're on the other side of town. We're in, honestly, it's in one of Westminster's yeah. end of it, and we're always going either the Gardner or the Lemonster. Right, you don't come town. down here to, right. no, the food's great. Yeah, she's I don't friendly. think of it. Well, I, we'd have we've known Wanda since the, our kids Texas were in school together. Yeah. So our kids were in we need to support our town stuff. Do you want me to call year. her and ask her what she would do for something like this and sure. how many people Just fill it out. Valentine's yeah. Day, yep. Yeah. What? How many people? Yeah. Well, you'll fit in as many as you can. No, but, <laughs> but you if you get a caterer, she's going to say how many people. Right. Oh, I'd 50? say at least 50. Or 50 to 75? Yeah. We can't fit 75 in here, can we? It says a capacity of 85 people. Yeah, but with tables and chairs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can no, we, say 50 to 65. Yeah, 50 to 60 or 55, whatever. We're planning on um, people just sitting down because together Because people will time. say they're going to come, but you'll right. have to have a ticket or something to sell ahead of time because people will say they're going to come, and yeah. then they don't come, and you plan for it, and you could have as many as 10 people marching. We're going to sell tickets ahead of time. So you, yeah, Oops, everything has to be paid up. Donations ahead of time. We're going to donate. Time. Yeah, so we know how much food to make and how much by a certain date then you say okay then I have that's the cutoff too yeah. yeah and it's hard to have those cut off well, cutoff cut cut off, cut off's gonna have to be January 31st no 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 earlier I think you can go I think go later you, yeah. you can I think you can go later. Yeah. yeah yeah well, this, then you gotta have you it do it three days so Usually you could you do it um, three days until before. like make right. maybe the eighth or the ninth when you really? when I worked okay. at the Sheridan, yeah. well, because yeah. she's right here in town. Yeah, she that's can, true. She yeah. can yeah. scoot up and get you know. She'll have three yeah. days to make all the food. I think yeah. that would give her enough time. Yeah, and when I you think so. Yeah, when I worked at the Sheridan, you, you had in the sales department, you had to give it three days before the function. How many people? Were there. So that would be the eighth. Yeah. All right. Let me let me ask. You now, want me to just put it out there as to what would be a. Suggested menu. No, it's, yes, yeah, so a suggested menu suggested for menu. Yeah, for value. Would it be better to have a brunch or would it be better to have a sit down meal like that? Everyone gets the same food. Oh, everybody gets <coughs> the same food. I, I, yeah, and I don't know what it would be. Well, a brunch would probably. I mean, for the sit down meal, I don't yeah. really. Right. So I love to tell you that my my mother used to do uh, Saturday nights and she would do what. Beans, beans, hot dogs, kielbasa, brown bread, yep. pie, yep. potato salad, yep. coleslaw, and way. she would make a ton of money. She would, we would, we would waitress, and it would be like a sit down, and we would put the plates on the table, and we would, they would fill, and they'd have as much as they wanted, because, right. you know, beans, hot dogs, kielbasa, <laughs> apple pie was for dessert. Oh yeah, she made good money. The old fashioned New England Saturday night. That is something fun that we should do sometime. The brown bread. Right. The brown bread. We get the brown, brown bread. Years. Yeah. And Valentine's Day, I mean, she could she could think of a nice menu. I bet she, she could would. think of something nice. Oh, she's, yeah, she's like yeah. clever, I guess, is a good thing. Think word, of my son's or? wedding. Well, they, they didn't cater it. They didn't cater it. He had all the catering service. They, they did decorations. She and Kathy, who does cook for her. All right, so, so, okay, so, so we got that locked up. Okay, so okay, Nancy's it's gonna, definitely the 11th. Nancy's going to call Wanda okay. and get all the stuff together. And then do you have a little committee? Of course, you can know Sue and, of course, Lorraine. But she does not want to be in charge. But she'll do, like, the napkins. Yeah. And, she does and a nice very, job. And I, you know, we put her in charge of the coffee. Yeah. She does that coffee bar great. She gives all the, the juice, you know, the water, the coffee, and she makes sure it's there. She's very good in it. Just She's let her do that by herself. Nice. Yeah, and she does very good. Mm -hmm. She yeah, serves it. She likes that. Yeah, sure. Anyone else on the committee? committee? Ken? What? Bill? Well, you say yeah, committee. sure. I have to check with my husband. Oh, for the Valentine's Day. Sure, I'll be on. <laughs> Throw me on. 
Thank you. Okay, so that's not, you want to be on the committee for the Valentine's Hi. Day meal? So sure. it's, it's this committee. Absolutely. So as we don't have to barbecue outside. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't you're not going to cook outside. the eggs out on the grill. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, uh, eggs Benedict. Out. Eggs Benedict on the grill. Ooh. Maybe on the yeah. deck. So we're all on the committee. Okay. The whole so, room. Well, yeah. well okay. I don't think John and Flo will be. Probably. All the people here. Yeah. Okay. Flo may be if we ask her to decorate. Mm -hmm. And Lorraine will help. She'll, yeah. She's very yeah. good. Oh yeah, I put her. Oh, uh, 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 Lorraine will the silver. Oh, that Lorraine. I forgot about that Lorraine. Two Lorraines. Yeah. Two Lorraines. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Oh, we're gonna try for that. That I'm looks like it. fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. Will be, fun. be something to look forward to. All right, deck updates. I mean, we we got a Did lot of stuff. Did you want to do the Christmas fair and about oh, I'm the sorry, money or Christmas, Christmas fair? I guess. And yeah. first of all, I want <laughs> I want you to look at this. And make sure I have your phone numbers right, and I have oh. your emails right, and if there's any changes you want to make to this, everybody's got a copy, and please, would you just staple it together, and, get you, and put it in your house so you I know. I have the old one still. I mean, I have people call me at home, hey, do you have so-and-so's number? No, it's on this list. Excuse if you keep this in your house, day. you know, somewhere. Yeah, it's right. .com. .com. Okay, so I got to add. What are you... So you can that in okay. You can add that to it. No wonder I, I wondered don't why it didn't. It. I don't. I wondered yeah. why it didn't come in blue. Um, don't send it to S. Braggy at hotmail.com because she lives in Ireland. So do you have another email you want to put down? S. T. No, no, S. T. Braggy is me. S. Braggy is. Okay, what's it at? I'm sorry. What's it at? I just crossed out hot. It's hotmail.com. It is. Yeah. What am I crossing off? Uh, there's no just dot adding dot sure you do ST. I didn't put and make sure you do ST, or else it's going to go And ST to is share. already on here. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's, I it's it's off. Off. Yeah. So just pencil in dot com. Who's that? Sue. So, dot com. Email you right yeah. Okay. But yeah, take this home. I have extra copies. I'm going to give before Thank I leave. Thank you. Do you have a date that you're going? I don't know. I don't know. I think in the, the 21st, but I think not. I think we get another doctor's appointment, so um, I don't know. On Ken's email, I don't think it's supposed to have the, the dash. That's why it went on to the next line. Ken? Yeah. Oh, but so, that's just, that. we know that's, that's, that's just because I made see, a it says D, it's G dash. You have a G dash mail instead of, if you look what? at Mel's, is G mail. See right here, that's a G mail. There's so no dash. Oh, take the dash yeah. off again. Yeah. Take the dash off. Yeah, just scratch <coughs> that right off. Yep. Yeah. What are we taking the dash off? We can just put G dash. Just G mail with no little mail. hyphen. Like in I, feel, I feel like I got Gmail again. So if you look at your day, it says Gmail. G Ken. dash. Oh, G yeah, G. Yeah. That's, That's not going to get rid of that. That's not going to get rid of that, okay? <coughs> do we want me to do it over, or would you guys be able to no, do this? No, we corrected them there. It's fine. Just. Correct one that you have on. I wouldn't be confused. At least I remember my own. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember anybody else if I remember my own. All right. Everybody else is okay. Nancy, you're okay. Good. I yeah. tend to reverse numbers, so just make sure my numbers are right. Okay. All right. The Christmas fair we made. I can't find my thing. I have thirteen hundred and twenty-five dollars. We deposited. That's what you deposited. Yes. Um, it was after the party we had, and the and the bar bill. I think okay. we made. I can't remember what we made. But we're we, being recorded. We're on TV. <laughs> we had two two thousand something, and we paid seven hundred, about seven hundred dollars in expenses for buying all the, the hamburger itself was expensive. It was forty dollars a thing. Oh, I had no way we get any. Three or four of them. It was all gone. I know. No, we're gonna have to make more. But anyway, that was expensive on itself. And then I did charge for a few things that I got for the basket. I didn't charge for everything, but I said at least I'll get some money back. So okay. seven hundred and something dollars back, and we deposited thirteen hundred. Thirteen twenty-five. Yeah, I have it all written in my book that I can't find because I we had it. I was going to pass it out. And that's mainly from the from the. It's raffles. only from the soup and the raffles. Yeah, soup and raffles. That's what but we that's made. Two thousand dollars from the soup and the raffles. About. Were the vendors um, happy with what they made? Yeah, they, they all, all seemed to be happy. They, they all, all seemed well. to be fine, and they liked it with more room. 
I would like to put more people in there, but they liked it with more. They could walk around better and they could oh, get yeah. around. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Cool. Anyway, so that's what we did. And I think it was good. I mean, I think that was another 1300 towards the deck. Yep. So, yeah. We had a good day, good weather. Good weather. It was and free. Mr. and Mrs. Santa oh. Claus. Yeah, but still, it wasn't bad weather. All our concerts were good weather, too. We had good weather this year. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, expect cold. No well, I'm watching the Hallmark channels, and they have a lot of outside vendors yes. that have their fairs oh, and well, stuff. Like that. That. They got to put the fun little hats on, and yeah. the furry little this, and the furry okay. little goats, and the. Okay, I'll do deck <laughs> updates. <laughs> I'm not getting that. <laughs> deck update. I have none. I I did get a new a new the architect designed the ramp the the ramp different for us. I sent it over to the builder. I haven't heard back from the builder. I sent the builder another email. Do you have anything? Is it gonna, uh, you know, how much can we take off from that? I emailed him again. I have not had anything back from him yet. So I'll email him tomorrow or I'll call him and I'll see where he is. Um, Nate's been patient. I, I don't know. I don't know. I would like to have it all set before I go so we could start, start the process in the spring. You're talking about the railings and the ramp? The railings. The railings that go up the ramp. Right. Right. They were very, very expensive, I understand. But, <clears throat> you know, we could send it out and have another architect try to draw it for us, and that's more money. And it's almost... It's six, it's six it was, months. It was $4,000 $4, for him to do that, which was cheap, actually. Yep. So we could have... They very could have just, like, ten for the design alone. So we got a good deal on that, but yeah, it's so it's, it's a waiting to game. Doing that, keep getting new plans. That's what happened when we were trying to get the new senior center. We kept spending more money on new plans, new plans, new plans that we didn't want to do. We that didn't we want didn't to. Want we had to. the one picked out we wanted. I told that's another story, but anyway, that's okay. But yeah. So do we? So still now I don't know. It's a waiting game, and I'm gonna just keep going, keep going, so and as we keep going, we get more less and less that we have to pay. Like, oh, because we, we have more money. Because we're getting more money. And we'll see. We'll just see, I guess. How short are we right now? I did not look at my figures. Okay. Jim, how much did you say we had? 52. 52? 50, 52, and then we got the other 50 that 50. they're holding for us. Mm -hmm. the, uh, and yeah, then the other 26. 50. Right. So that's ten hundred, and then we got the twenty six. Yeah. Twenty six hundred. Yeah. yeah. So let's consider that. Yeah. So. And then we got the twenty thousand from the friends. Have had said they would give us twenty. So that's. Well, you, you got a hundred and four. And then the sixteen. You got five. It's about one hundred twenty five. And then the sixteen from the formula grant. If we use all of the formula grant. To that's one hundred forty one. So we have a hundred. 141? 136? No, I don't know. 141? 50, 52, 50, 52 and change, and the 2600, round number 55,000. 2600? Oh, yeah, from there. Right, yeah. so that's 55. And then 50. Then 50. Yeah. Is 105. Yeah. Then 20. 20 is 125. Then 16 is 141. So we need. Ten thousand, maybe twelve thousand. <clears throat> well, and that, and it just seems to me we're doing various events, right? Yeah. And the donations that have just been coming in—I don't want to say unsolicited, but more than just fifty dollars here. You know, I'll give you a hundred dollars for the tree. You know, I got to figure that. In the next three or four months, you're going to wind up with another three or four thousand dollars of those, plus what we're going to make in February. So I think that ten is going to be down to like five by the time we get to April. By the time they start, we're going to have we may not have every penny, but we're going to have ninety over ninety percent of the money, and we'll make it work after that. 
so we're still working on it. It's a thing. And, and if he can, if he can cut the, if he can cut the price down by changing the reeling, we may have it already. Right. You know? They can cut. So you don't have a new the, price. I thought you did. From cutting down the bin. No, the I've been calling. Oh, that's what she's trying I sent, that's true. I sent that's him true. the thing, yeah. and he called me, and I emailed him to see. And wasn't there a date by which we had to be, um, okay, that's what you meant by being patient. Okay, someone's being patient. Yeah, I mean, we very, very patient, but we gotta, we've got to try to work on it as fast as we can. Yeah. Well, Doing the what? best we can. I mean, I'm more than happy to have someone else jump in. Maybe a man's voice will be better with this darn builder. Maybe if a man's voice got on there and said, okay, Rob, uh, we, we can't wait much longer. Can you give us a price? Will this help our, will this affect the cost? Will, will it knock it down a little bit? Yeah. You know, if a man, I'm sorry to say, well, but sometimes, but a man's voice is more firm. It's, I don't know what it is, but men talking to men is different than a woman talking to men. Because you, and I, you and I will discuss this on Wednesday when I'm here. Okay. With and some people. This Wednesday. <coughs> this Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. All right. Yeah. 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 We and I will talk about it. So. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, no, and I don't if, mind if you and jump you'll in. And we'll give me some direction and I'll call it. Okay. When, when the, if maybe if the first of the year when the time's right or whatever. Yeah. So. Let's get. Yeah. We'll yeah get the everybody's holidays everybody's and crazed right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. Okay. Or <coughs> when you leave, <coughs> and that's the reason I'm calling. You're away. You're not here. <coughs> Somebody's got to mind the shop. Yeah. You're away. Claudia's in Florida. And then you got to work with. Uh, yeah, Nate. Yeah, it's yes. okay. Yeah. So I hear Ken volunteering to be in charge of some things to help you out or co co do it with you. Yeah. Yeah. And call yeah, you. Yeah, you get call this, this, to get this final mm -hmm. steps. That would be great. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. And especially if you get a little report going with our town mm -hmm. administrator. Yeah. Okay, anything else? That yes, when's the January meeting? So let me just give out my little things oh, here. Well, you want to go to Apple after that? What? Apple? Do we want to adjourn before so that? We're, we're the third Tuesday oh, at 4 o'clock? What date is that? The 16th. It's about the 16th, okay, with everybody? The 16th. The 16th. January. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday at 4. It's, four. it's the third Tuesday. January 16th. And this is Mel. Everyone got that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And can I make, can make a motion to adjourn the meeting? So I make a motion to so adjourn. So I'm Bill to adjourn at this time, I which is it. 7, no, 6, no, 5, 5.22. 5.22. Bill, Merry Christmas.